G'day guys, let's talk Comet and P40 and maintenance procedures and techniques with just fixing ongoing leaks that may occur in service. So as a fully fledged particular system, we have the Honda driving through reduction gearbox, the Comet P40 pump. And I wanted to talk about, and if you haven't seen our previous video before on replacement of diaphragms in the P40, I'll drop a link below. But today we're going to pull the collector and the VAMs off. We're going to remove the unloader valve and I wanted to show you simple replacement of O-rings around the collector assembly. Let's take a closer look. So we're going to look at the maintenance side of the collector and fixing simple leaks. You can do this on site. Uh, it is quite straightforward if you have the parts. Uh, drop links below to all that and, and much, much more. Do take a look at that video on the full breakdown on the P40. The pressure unloader regulator valve, similar on a pressure cleaning system. Our center collector assembly and the VAM ports which cover the poppets in and out of each particular cylinder. So you're going to need a half inch socket and a Phillips driver to carry out the rectification of this. So we're going to remove simply four screws on the pressure regulator and we're going to put that aside. So this holds our bypass hose which is 10 meters of hose at a minimum to operate as a heat transfer um, from the pressure regulating system and that goes back to our proportioner as a run around circuit. So one simple o-ring below the regulator and we're going to put that aside. We're then going to take our half inch socket and we're going to pull the four bolts covering each cylinder to remove the collector and VAM assemblies. The bolts you will note are different lengths and it, it's a little bit hard to get this mixed up on reassembly but I'll, I'll just point that out. So the, the two centre bolts are shorter and you'll pick that up straight away when I do put those down. Pull those and put those all aside. It is uh, advisable too to have some O-ring lubricant. Uh, we use a commercial grade of petroleum jelly. put all those aside. So as we remove the collector assembly, we're going to expose the poppet valves. There are sleeves to the pocket valves, so do take note on the installation of those stainless steel seats. The O-rings around each particular poppet valve inlet and outlet. So quite simple. So the collector assembly itself the center collector is, is made up of these van ports and if we pull on a van port we can pull that from, from the center collector and you'll note here that there's four o-rings on each collector to van assembly so we'll grab a bit of lubricant we can replace those o-rings if required You can lube those up. The van port itself. We can reassemble that. It'll go on a bit easier with, with lubricant. You can reseat those and push those back on. And we can reinstall the collector van assembly. 
take note of installation. Uh, that is our inlet, our outlet, and that'll go back on covering our inlet and poppet, poppet valves. And it's simple as a reassembly. So longer bolts to the outside, shorter to the inside. Simply go around and hand tighten the bolts. We are seating back on A-ring, so they don't need to be super tight. regulator assembly with our O-ring, which is seated into the groove. So you can see by that overall task, not too daunting, especially when you've done it once or twice before. Um, I hope this helps going forward because there's quite a few of these P40s out there now and they're earning the operators quite good revenue and it's important to look after your equipment and keep it in tip knot condition. Hope this video does help. Um, check out all our other videos online under the YouTube channel which is bluetongueindustries.com.au. Uh, the YouTube channel, Blue Tongue Industries, you can see all that. Parts below, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks guys.